Johnny Sexton's career is littered with success and signature moments but, even allowing for all he has achieved in the past, 2018 has been a truly special year for the Leinster and Ireland out half. A central figure in Ireland's Grand Slam, summer series win in Australia and last weekend's seismic victory over the All Blacks, Sexton's excellence also extended to propelling Leinster towards an unprecedented Pro 14 European Champions Cup double. It has been a breathless ride for the out half. All the more remarkable given that it has arrived with Sexton already well into his 30s, he turned 33 last July, an age when players in his position are usually starting to win down. Johnny Sexton has enjoyed a stellar 2018 even by the standards of his glittering career next Sunday he is widely expected to be crowned World Rugby Player of the Year while Sexton's focus has always been on his contribution towards collective success, his consistent excellence means individual accolades inevitably follow. On Wednesday night, he received the Irish Rugby Writers Player of the Year award and, next Sunday in Monte Carlo, Sexton is widely expected to claim the most prestigious individual recognition in the game, World Rugby Player of the Year. If he does, he will be the first Irishman to win the accolade since Keith Wood in 2001. As he reflects back on an extraordinary period in his storied career, Sexton admits that, while he has always made it a policy to pursue lofty targets, 2018 has exceeded all his expectations. It's been incredible, I've had to pinch myself a little bit. But, at the same time, there's been a hell of a lot hard work that goes into it, so it doesn't happen by accident he says. It's been pretty special. If you got offered a grand slam at the start of the year and nothing else you'd have snapped someone's hand off for it. It's such a big thing and it's been in Ireland so few times, three, dot. But then when that happens, you reset your goals back in Leinster. You want to go back and achieve there and that rolled into the double. And then going to Australia and doing the job at Sexton. Sexton helped Leinster to an unprecedented Pro 14 European Champions Cup double in the spring he was a central figure in Ireland's Grand Slam success in the Six Nations if someone had told me we'd win all this at the start of the year I would have laughed at them. At the same time, it's what you dream of as well. You always have to think big and we're certainly doing that but there's work that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see. They just see the end product and you can often work as hard as that in all the previous years and get nothing. Then one year it all falls into place, it's funny how things work out for all of the success this year, last weekend's 16-9 triumph over a fired up New Zealand is the one that has got the rugby world talking, 
with speculation building about just how far Joe Schmidt's Ireland can go at next year's World Cup in Japan. Sexton watched the tense conclusion of Saturday's match from the stands. Substituted late on for Joey Carberry after dominating his opposite number, and fellow Monte Carlo nominee, Bowden Barrett, he admits he could not relax until referee Wayne Bonds blew the final whistle. I was on the bench for what, three minutes? They were tough because you haven't had a chance to cool down or even take a breath he recalls. I felt Josh, van der Flyer, had got a penalty, a turnover and I was on my feet and it wasn't given when it could have given us a chance to have a shot at goal and win the clock down. So it was ups and downs and they were going through the phases. To have drawn that game would have been devastating for us after having led by 10 points. It was great defence, for the whole game really. I was delighted for Faz, defence coach Andy Farrell, because of the work he does all year. We defended in the Six Nations, and in Australia, and defended really well for large blocks of games, like for 60 minutes and then we'd have a lead and we'd concede two soft tries. After victory over the All Blacks he admits that 2018 has exceeded his expectations so, it was great to hold the best team in the world to zero tries and I was pleased for him and all his work because the system we have in place is amazing. It was a great effort from everyone really. The team's success sets Ireland up for a shot at back-to-back -back Grand Slams, with both England and France coming to Dublin, and then their ambition of a first World Cup semi-final, at least. Many are now predicting Schmidt's men can go all the way. Sexton does not want to get drawn into those dangerous waters but does believe Ireland can get better. There is no doubt meaningful World Cup achievement is now a primary goal for this squad. Given his age, Sexton will have to be carefully managed through the rest of the season to have him fit and firing in Japan and he is determined to do whatever it takes to build on this seminal year of success. I just try to keep improving all the time he says I put more emphasis on looking after my body than I used to. That's to do with age and injury profile, going back to two or three years ago when I was struggling. You get to meet new people through the low points and they get you in better condition and you learn a lot through those times so I'm just proud of that really. You work hard, you work smarter and you learn all the time and sometimes things go your way. Things certainly have in 2018, and rugby's greatest individual honour going his way in Monaco this Sunday would be the perfect way to round off Johnny Sexton's dream year.